Uh, so what we have done, so we have started programming our lift to get our piece, our pixels up onto the board, and we have added our um, plane shooter. And what we have learned through this experience is that um, we need to reiterate our intake because. Um, it is a very not efficient way to pick up the pixels by picking them up in the center. It may work for you, but it's not the wrong way to do it. It's just a very inefficient way to do it very quickly. And then um, we do have the plane launcher, which we have been working on today. And we have built a trigger that will release a rubber band by a servo. And the plane will shoot and hopefully land into one of the zones. This video on fun is made possible by viewers like you and also the following. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. <laughs> so, yeah. So, right. Evan, throw it back. Okay. So, reload it, and then... I'll stop this. Um, what we also did today is th we did also add a hook so that we can hang on to the toilet, which we will demonstrate after the plane fires again. Okay. Ready? And then... There you go. So, uh, the plane is very inconsistent, which we will hone in later this year, but that's just one thing with the paper airplane. And then, is it working? Can we drive I the bot? Yeah, we can, okay. okay so, so, and our driving needs some work, our coach being finicky, but we will work on that later this season. So, forward, I can help. So, forward, we're gonna come, forward. it can, we did keep it under the 14 inch mark, Yeah, sure. You. So, our um, lift is driven by a 60 RPM DC motor to give us enough power. So, we go up, we stop, and then it's perfect height. And then if we lift, so, ready, go. There you go. Ready. Three, two, one. And then. It was working earlier today. It was today. working consistently yeah. earlier. I don't know practice. what this. Yeah, our thing did. Our it, uh, it died a bit ago. Oh, right? yeah, it just, yeah. It just died. It was just charging, and then I said it was at. It does work. We can assure you that. Yes. I think there's a picture online that shows us working with it. It can lift up pretty consistently, but as you can see, we're having some few bugs, which we can work through, um, which we can work through technically and mechanically. But overall, learning experience we have done very well and that we have learned that we may need to pivot and we do have the time to pivot sometimes. Uh, no, I think we're good. Questions? All right, we have one question from AdBB. How do you do such good wiring in such a small form factor? Uh, good wiring. Uh, zip ties. They can be your friend. It may seem like the easy way out, but if you don't have good wiring, uh, the whole thing can look like a rat's nest, so it pays it 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 takes it pays to take some time to just neatly package up your wires so that you can don't have that much issues and the wires could get caught between machineries. I would say is that we should just completely revamp our intake system yeah. uh, because we really only went through a couple of iterations of our arm compared to our airplane, which we actually ended up spending a lot more time working on mm -hmm. this day. And also we were working on more of the hanging too. Yeah. So our intake, it's it's not the wrong way to do it. It's just the most ineffective way to do it 
but I would think moving in the future, we're tr trying to do more of a negative space where we have an outside shell of the pixel and then pick it up through that way. And to actually explain the intake, so this is supposed to move up. This There's a servo over here in four positions and that are spread out from here all the way to here. And then we have a servo here that can rotate this and that can open and close this. It's not working right now because our control hub has been really buggy, but the general idea and what was working before, do you wanna hold the microphone? No, you gotta hold it up closer to you. <laughs> so the general idea is that- Like chopsticks, basically. Yeah, it's chopsticks. Goes so in, goes, goes out, in, holds them. Spreads out, holds them, and then the robot would move forward and it could lift this up. And place and them on. It, place it on the- on the board. I have a question from Edwin Jarina asking, why are you using the extra little wheels? The dead wheels. Oh, so the dead wheels, so um, we used those last year. So this is the exact same robot chassis that we used last year. So we decided to use that because we didn't have that much experience going this. So we decided to take what we had last year as a boost or had start going into this. So we don't have the dead wheels functioning right now because we don't have an autonomous, but we are planning to use the dead wheels later this season. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.